With military aid for U.S. allies still on hold and the government four days away from a shutdown, President Biden is demanding immediate action from Congress. Rebecca Castor reports from Washington. In what lawmakers are calling an intense meeting, President Biden sat down the top leaders in Washington to express the dire need to pass more emergency aid for Ukraine. It was passionate. and It was the consensus in that room. Zelensky and Ukraine will lose the war if we don't get the arms and don't get them quickly. For months now, billions of dollars for Ukraine have been held up in Congress as Republicans led by House Speaker Mike Johnson demand changes at the U.S. border first. We must take care of America's needs first. When you talk about America's needs, you have to talk first about our open border. But helping allies abroad is not the only challenge facing lawmakers right now. Congress is merely days away from a partial government shutdown that would impact departments like Veterans Affairs, housing, and transportation. Nobody wins from shutting down the government. It's just, I don't know how many times you have to be hit with a, a bat before you know it hurts. It's the fourth time since September government funding has come down to the wire. Republicans want to slash spending, but once again, it's likely they'll be forced to pass what's known as a continuing resolution, which temporarily keeps funding at current rates. They've just been kicking this can down the road, and my patience has run out, so and, uh, leadership is to blame. President Biden is also set to give a State of the Union address next week, crucial during an election year, but that could be up in the air if the government shuts down Friday. In Washington, Rebecca Castor, Fox 32 Chicago.